On the 19th of March 1831, Citibank of New York was robbed in the first widely reported bank heist in US history. Welcome to History Pod. While other bank robberies had taken place in America, such as the Bank of Pennsylvania heist in 1798, the theft from Citibank of New York on Wall Street was the first to be widely reported. The bank was an established institution and was trusted by individuals and businesses across the major city to house both banknotes and gold. The heist was masterminded by James Honeyman and James Murray, who adopted aliases including Smith and Jones. Consequently, reports of the theft often used different names, and securing reliable evidence of the theft itself presents challenges. What is known is that the two men used homemade keys, created from wax impressions of the bank's locks, to gain access to the building. Late at night on the 19th of March, and into the early hours of the 20th, the two men entered the bank, where they raided the vault and the safe deposit boxes. Together, they left with approximately $245,000 in banknotes and coins, which is the equivalent of more than $50 million today. They made their way to Murray's house, where they divided the money between them, after which Honeyman took his share to a rented room at a boarding house on Elm Street, now known as Lafayette Street. The theft was discovered shortly afterwards, and Honeyman, who had recently been charged with robbing a store in Brooklyn, was reported to police by his landlord due to his suspicious luggage. On the 24th of March, New York's Chief Constable Jacob Hayes entered his rented room and found hundreds of thousands of dollars hidden in trunks. Honeyman was arrested on his return and later sentenced to prison, while Murray was captured while on the run in Philadelphia. $42,000 of the stolen money was never recovered. 